It's been fun, man. We've all gotten a lot of reps. I think the split fields has helped us out all. Uh, we've all gotten a ton of reps, so it's been good. Uh, it's been fun, and it's been it's been healthy. So last spring, you seem like spring ended. You had real command of the team. Do you still feel that way even with the competition? Oh yeah, yeah. I think and I think we're all pushing each other in from that standpoint too. I think we're making each other better um, as leaders, and I think you know we're all helping each other in from that standpoint. Like I said, we're doing split fields, so you can't you're not you're not getting to talk to everybody every single day. Um, like you were if we weren't doing split field. So everybody's, you know, taking command and um, has, a, has had a leadership role, so it's been good. Where, where do you feel like the competition is? I mean, do you feel like it's pretty tight? And yeah, no, I mean, I think we've all done good things. I think, you know, that's up to Coach Morris and uh, Coach Craddock. I mean, I, you know, I feel like I've done my job. That's, all, that's what I'm trying to do um, every day at camp is just come out and do my job, take it one day at a time, and, um, you know, see what happens when, when they make the decision. So. And it gets better as a competitor for you to have that competition and or would it be better if you were the standalone number one guy? Yeah, I think anytime you got competition, it makes you better, it pushes you. So um, it's been good having everybody in that room pushing me every single day. And I think it's been good for them um, having each other. I mean, we're all in there pushing each other every single day. So it's been, um, I think it's been, it's been good for everybody. It's been healthy for everybody. So um, I think we've all gotten better in the fall. So. I think us in the media and fans make a big deal out of it. How do you guys approach it in that room when you guys meet every day and go out on the practice field? Yeah, like I was telling him, I think, you know, just try and take it one day at a time, one play at a time. Just, you know, understand that's a process. Um, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be adversity um, throughout camp. But, you know, you just try and take it take it one day at a time and, and try and put the, the team and the offense in the best position to win a game. So, How big is the scrimmage tomorrow in, in your mind? Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's as big as any of them. You know, I think, again, taking it one day at a time, just being ready to – ready to practice and get the guys in the end zone. That's the main thing. I think that's what we're looking for is um, a guy that's going to get us in the end zone and, and help us win games. So, um, again, just trying to, that's what I'm trying to do tomorrow. How do you feel like your camp's been overall? Yeah, I think it's been good. I mean, it's been, uh, it's been a grind, but it's been, it's been a lot of fun. And I think, again, we've gotten a lot of reps. So anytime you get a lot of reps, you know, you, you can take a lot away from that and, you know, have a lot of film to break down. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been fun. So. Have they communicated with you guys at all about when – they plan to name the starter, or has it just been like every day, like I wonder if he's going to name him? Yeah, no, I think, again, we're trying to just go out and practice every mm -hmm. single day, and then you know, when the decision's made, um, the decision's made, and we'll live with it and, and go and go on and, and, and try and make the make the best of the situation. Do you, do you we're expecting a game for both of you guys to, to play? Again, I don't know. I'm just just taking it one day at a time when they make the decision. It'll be the decision that they made. Where's the offensive line now from where you when you first got here and, and how much growth have they made? Yeah, again, you know, having the split fields and getting a bunch of reps has been huge for them. Um, I think that's that's been a, a huge part of their growth. And um, they've, they've gotten better every single day. And um, it's been fun to see them grow. And, um, you know, we, we, got, we got banged up early in camp. So it's been good to get some guys back and get healthy. Um, yeah, and they'll, they'll get better as, as the year goes on, too. I guess the last two days have been the hottest in Fayetteville all summer. How, how's that been for you guys? How, how do you think you guys have handled that? Yeah, um, luckily, you know, being from Texas, I'm kind of used to it, so it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But you're, um, I think it's as, as as quarterbacks, it's our job to to push those guys and um, get the most out of them when it's hot. And and I think that's I think that's what we've been able to do. I think they've been good practices. We've gotten a lot a lot of work done, and uh, again, we, we got to get after it again tomorrow. So. When you were at SMU, you said you had the same thing where you were a starter, but yet they brought in a lot of competition. Yeah. Any different this time around than that time? No, it feels, it feels the same. Again, I've had to earn every spot I've ever gotten um, in college, and um, you know this this time hasn't been any different. I'm just trying to approach it um, as a process, take it one day at a time, and just and just do my job. So, if your perspective, what kind of camp is that Grayson Gunner had? Yeah, Grayson's had a great camp. Um, He's pushed. He's pushed through. He's, he's been in every practice and gotten a ton of reps. Um, I've been proud of, of the way he's, uh, you know, handled um, camp and how he's handled, um, you know, the ups and downs with it too. He's he's gotten a lot better. So, well, what's impressed you about him? Because Barry says he's really fast for a guy that. Yeah, big. he's again. He's a great. He's a. I think he's a good receiving tight end. He's, that's his. That's his mo. And um, he's good. He's good at getting open. He's got great hands. So, um, you know, he's a, he's a real receiving threat. So we just got to keep finding ways to get him the ball. What do you think the strengths of your game are right now? You, know, you are in this final week. You've gone through pretty much the whole offense. You're talking about me personally yeah, or the offense? Um, what, do you, what do you do best? Yeah, I just think you know, having knowledge of the offense and just trying to get the ball to my hands as quickly as possible and get it to the guys um, in space is something that um, I take pride in. And, um, you know, I think I, I, I got a lot of work on, continue, continue to work on. But, I mean, I think uh, my knowledge of the offense right now is just, 
as good as it's been and um, try to keep keep that up throughout the throughout the rest of camp and in the fall. So you, you had some good veteran receivers at SMU. Mm-hmm. You, you got some young, talented guys. How, how do, you, do you see any kind of comparison, at least, to the abilities of some of these guys? When you yeah, I mean, I think we got great talent. The young guys have have tremendous talent. Um, it's just um, again keep, keeping keeping them level headed and, and keeping them you know on their toes and pushing them when when things get tough and when things are good. I think uh, the main thing with them is they're going to have to find ways to handle success. So I think they're going to have a lot of success, and um, I think the main thing for them is, is is learning how to handle success and and push themselves when when things are going good, but also when things are going bad too. So I think that's the main thing for them. With Dion going down, how has the receiver room kind of responded? Can you say it again? With Dion going down, yeah. How has the like, receiver room responded? Yeah, no, it was it was uh, it was real tough to see Dion go down like that. I mean, nobody like wanted to see that, and Dion's a great guy and a great leader in that room. So I think everybody's responded. Um, and kind of, kind of rallied behind, you know, what happened to him. And um, again, we're praying for him. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it was a tough blow for us. So, going against that defense every day, what have you seen, and, and how good could they be this year? Yeah, no, they're great. Um, Chief, Chief, lets them, lets them fly around and play ball. And um, you know, we got some, we got some real guys that um, can, can really play, play defense. I mean, Scooter and Sosa at times are, um, they're tough to, tough to block. They kind of disrupt the whole offense, but. Um, again, it's going to make us better, just like it made us better in the spring. It's, it's made us a lot better in the fall, and um, I think it's going to show up for us positively, um, you know, in the fall. So, thanks, man. All right, guys. Appreciate it.